Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Friday, uh, May the 31st, Saturday the 1st and Sunday the 2nd of June. And I'm starting with the uh, Unicorn deck from Doreen Virtue. I said I would yesterday, but it just didn't flow that way. So here it is today. And um, the card says very soon, what you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. So it's really another one of those faith cards. It's a card that says, stay centered in your wish, your desire, stay positive about it, stay very clear about your intention, but stop stressing about it. Just let it go, just trust, hand it over completely. So I'm gonna relate this in, uh, to sensitivity by saying that sometimes if we're very sensitive, we have a desire, we want things to change, and we want them to change now because we're feeling all of these possibilities for change. We're feeling the new, we're feeling the desired possibility even before it arrives. And when we look around and the reality doesn't seem to be that way, sometimes there's a frustration. So it's really about trusting because trust will allow us to feel the sensation, feel the joy, feel the expectation much more easily. So relax, trust, and just allow it to happen. So let go of all of that today. And Friday really needs to be a day for you to just decide that, okay, I've sent my pink balloon up. I've cast my wish to the wind. I've asked the angels. I've prayed. I've asked God. And I know now that it's coming. I know it's on its way. So I can get on with doing something else. I can just relax and I can just trust that. So that's Friday. So really, don't do anything. Don't do anything that you don't have to do. In fact, don't do anything too much up here. Don't do that. Don't do the overthinking thing. Let it all be in here. Obviously, you know, do work and do all the usual things that you have to do. But in terms of the metaphysical work, I feel that that's a card that's really saying, let go for now. Just let it all go and just trust. Okay, and that card was just at the bottom of the deck, just happened to spring out at me um, while I was holding it and fiddling with the deck. So, right, and they're saying there's another one here. Okay, top. Try something new, great, okay. So this is, um, I'm gonna go with this for Saturday. So for Saturday, try something new. And to me, the way that I'd relate that to sensitivity is that sometimes we hold ourselves back from trying new things because of our sensitivity. So if there's something that you need to do that you know will help you to move forward in your goals, in your dreams, in your life, your vision, your mission, but you've been holding back from doing it because of your sensitivity, because you're, I don't know, maybe shyness, or maybe you don't want to be moving around too much. If you live in the city, you feel a little bit vulnerable. You'd rather go and spend your Saturday in the park or in the trees or wherever. You can still do that today. This trying something new doesn't have to happen today. What you can do is you can make a plan um, of action for trying that new thing that you know you need to do because it will help you to move forward but you're avoiding it because of that sensitivity. Come up with a contingency plan, good word, a contingency plan for how you can get over all of those areas that are sensitive. So if it's that you, you don't want to have to get on the underground any more often than you want to, Think what bus might take me there. If it's that you're afraid of walking into a room full of strangers, think, well, I only have to do it once. I never have to do it again. I'm going to push myself just to do it this time and see what happens. You know, just sit down and ask yourself, what is it that's stopping me from trying this? And come up with some kind of an objection to every one of those reservations so that you'll actually do it. Because if you're not happy with the way things are, it's because you're not trying new things. When we get stuck in a rut, um, you know, things don't really change. They don't easily change. So if we're looking around and we're saying, okay, I've been stuck at this plateau for a long time and I'm not getting any new leaps in progression, any new results, then maybe that is really a clear sign that you need to do something new that will break you out of that mold. And if you might already have a sense of what it is. This thing that you need to do that's gonna take you a little bit further or that's gonna accelerate things. And 
It might be something that you need to apply to lots of different situations. So whatever it is, decide today what that new thing is that you're going to try that's going to take you forward and then come up with an idea that will help you to actually do it. Um, also, it could be a good day to just try something new in terms of play because they're just saying to me, don't forget about playtime. So Saturday, you know, this should be an opportunity to play as well. So if you've thought about maybe taking up an instrument or, you know, having some music lessons or having some dance lessons or going swimming and having swimming lessons so that you become a better swimmer or anything like that, I don't know, um, signing up for something new, joining a, a, an evening class or going to the library and seeing what the libraries are like these days, anything new at all, Saturday is going to be a really great day to support that energy, so go for that, and then I'm going to choose for Sunday, probably a couple of cards, let's see what flows, okay, right there, yeah, Okay, so Burgundy, awaken your passion on Sunday. So on Sunday, after Saturday's little um, escapades or planning about trying something new, Sunday is going to be a day to follow that up. So Sunday's going to be a day to really consolidate what happened yesterday, I feel. It seems, there seems to be a natural progression. So whatever it is that you admit to yourself you could try that would either move you forward or bring more joy and excitement into your life, really, really spend more time on Sunday getting into the excitement about it. What's going to be exciting about it? What's the positive thing about forcing yourself to try this new thing? If it's something that's been tricky, you know, what could be actually quite fun about it? How might you actually enjoy the challenge of getting yourself to do it? And if it's something like an instrument or something fun that you're trying, well, Obviously, there's a passion there because that's why you want to try it. So if it's a passion that you've been repressing for a long time, I hope you made a decision um, for Saturday to start uh, trying it, to have a go. And then on Sunday, just throw yourself into it. Just throw yourself into it completely and explore how you can do that um, for yourself in preparation. OK, and I'm being drawn to the number 10. I'm being drawn to the one Thing. So for solitary passions, this is going to be very, very important, very important, a really, really nice day for writers and really for creative people. Um, so just enjoy that. And I'm going to pick one more card for Sunday because I think um, it's a really, really chunky sort of day. I'm going to pick a card from the Ask Your Guides deck. Don't ask me what I meant by that chunky day. There's a lot happening. Okay, so we've got business again. And it's the same card again. So that card of um, really, really getting in touch with the heart of some kind of a business idea and being really honest with ourselves about what it is that we want to put energy into. So if, for example, you have any doubts whatsoever about a direction that you're currently going in, and whether it will really fulfill you. Sunday is going to be the second day this week to really connect with our hearts and to really decide, am I doing this thing? Am I on the path towards something? Or am I in the thick of something that really allows me to share the fullness and the richness of my heart with people, with other people? So that's going to be the card for Sunday. And I love it that that comes with the passion card. It just it just makes so much sense. So um, let's just say that that's going to be the theme for Sunday, that the passion and really, really looking at making sure that your heart is completely switched on in whatever business or business ideas you're working on currently. OK, that's it for the weekend, everyone. I'll be back next week. Have a lovely, lovely weekend and check out the links below this video to find out about my readings and teaching and mentoring and healing. And um, hopefully I will speak to some of you soon. Bye.